Hi, welcome to Piston Powered Live. I'm Jameson Draper of PistonPowered.com. I'm Kevin Young of Grizzly Bear Blues. And we're going to talk about the first half of the Pistons-Grizzlies game and discuss a little bit of a preview of the second half. Um, first, what did you see that was you think was interesting, Kevin? Well, the first, uh, first thing that comes to mind is there's been a lot of turnovers. I'm looking at the uh, stat sheet now. Detroit's at 10, and uh, Memphis is 11. It's been a really sloppy ball. But then there's been like a lot of fast-break offense. Tony Allen's had like three steals. He's been our, our, our best guy so far. Yeah, the Pistons also have looked pretty good in transition, too. Not necessarily getting fast breaks on steals or anything, but they've, been look, they've looked pretty good in transition. Yeah, that's where the best ball movement has happened in the game, for both sides. Mm -hmm. I was After the first Pistons game, I was really excited for the ball movement because Smith was passing really well, um, Bynum was even passing well, Drummond was getting the ball, and their Drummond and Monroe were passing between each other pretty well. And at the beginning of this game, it just felt like they lost all hope in ball movement, and Josh Smith just started chucking it. I think after the first quarter, he was 2 for 6 from the field after the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw and that. that's I felt like they they were like, oh, all hope's lost on offense. Let's just hand it to Josh Smith and see if he can make any threes. Yeah, well, for you guys on offense, you guys, uh, like, the passing has not been great. You guys have had, like, some some passing. I think the best mm -hmm. thing so far has been, like, the uh, dribble penetration, especially Stuck, well, um, Stucky and Bynum. They've been getting to the paint really consistently and scoring well in there. Mm -hmm. um, by, both Bynum and Stucky actually have also been, well, mostly... Well, Billups, Billups and Bynum really have been getting the ball down low to Drummond this game pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I hope Drummond continues. I mean, right now he's 3 for 6 with 6 points, which is all right. But he was playing really well in their Pistons last game, and then all of a sudden he played for like 5 total min minutes in the second half. Like Mo, Mo Cheeks just decided to take him out, and I wasn't really sure what was happening. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully that doesn't happen again. I mean, I feel like the Pistons overall, they could be doing much better. They're down by six at the half, but I just think the biggest problem with this game really is, I mean, I feel like for the most part they're doing better than I expected on defense, but Will Bynum is not playing defense on the perimeter very well. And yeah, it's led to a bunch of like open shots for our guys in the perimeter. We haven't made all of them, but we've had a couple open opportunities. I mean, yeah, the more open opportunities you have, you're eventually going to start making them. And Greg Monroe was just a sieve on defense, honestly. <laughs> yeah. He can't... I mean, we knew this coming into the season that even though he was really good on offense, he can't do anything on defense. And I knew coming into this game with Gasol and Randolph and now even Davis and... Uh, who? Davis Kufus. and... Davis and Kufus. Yeah, Davis and Kufus are even playing well against him. He's just... I don't really know what it is necessarily, but he just can't really do much on uh, yeah, defense. There's been, a, like, Zebo's taking just, just regular face-up shots over him. Oh, Kufus yeah, he's... Passing the ball pretty well each other. Probably the worst part about um, Monroe's defense is his, is his jumper defense. Like, I saw Zebo get multiple just randomly just open jumpers, mid-range jumpers that Monroe... Like, their defensive... Ro like, Drummond, he's a pretty good defender for a second-year player, but as all young players, his defensive rotations aren't very good. Mm -hmm. And that, plus the fact that Monroe's just not very good in defense... Uh, Bigs can do a lot of damage against the Pistons, and that's what's happening right now. Yeah, it's been the main thing for us, apart from uh, Tony Allen's driven penetration. Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as a player... that It was happening against the Wizards, where uh, Trevor Ariza could just start driving on us, and I was... <laughs> like, I don't... I didn't really know what to think of that. Um, what do you think the each team needs to do in the second half to... What do you think the Grizzlies need to do in the second half, first of all, to continue this lead? Um, obviously, but we got to cut down on the uh, turnovers that goes for the Pistons, too. Apart from that, I think uh, I think we're doing pretty fine. We're getting some good shot uh, good shot opportunities. We're shooting 57% from the field. Uh, I'd like to see um, maybe uh, Quincy Pondexter not pass up so many open three-point shots. I think he's kind of going to uh, triple penetration too much, but apart from that, I think we've been really good, especially in the fast break. Mm-hmm. What do you think the Pistons need to do to get back into this game? Again, turnovers have been a problem. Uh, I think Smooth's obviously obviously got to cut down on the uh, shots he's taking. I'd, uh, I think it'd be good for them to get some more shots in the paint, and that's where they've been most dominant so far. Mm -hmm. I think in all, for 
the Grizzlies to continue this lead. They just need to keep penetrating, just mm-hmm. getting the paint more. I mean, perimeter shots, even though they're getting a couple open looks, they're eventually going to stop because for for a backcourt, the Pistons' defense isn't that all that bad. Mm-hmm, but as soon as they as soon as they get into the paint, the Pistons just you can't stop the Grizzlies. The matchup is such a huge difference in the paint that Absolutely. it's going to be a problem. I mean, Zebo has tw- has ten points. It's five for seven from the field already with six rebounds. So Zebo has been really good so far. Yeah, I mean, I expect him to have a pretty good game because mm-hmm. of this business. I mean, I feel like for the Pistons to win, they need a little bit more production out of their bench, not named Rodney Stuckey. I mean, Stuckey, he came in and gave... If it wasn't for Stuckey, the Pistons would probably be down by like 15 by now. I mean, Stuckey came in, was pretty good on defense, and just provided a huge spark on offense. Mm-hmm. He's, five he's for nine. one of the main guys for them so far. Right. I mean, the only... I mean, Pope, can, Caldwell Pope is not playing well on yeah. either side of the ball. He kind of looks lost out there. He's going to need to fix that. And Monroe is going to need to at least make a little bit of an effort. Well, he's making an effort, a little bit more adjustments on defense and kind of get his offense going because, I mean, right now he's just not playing well at all on either side of the court. So, That's true. Um, I think that'll do it for this uh, Piston Powered Live. Thanks for coming on, Kevin. That's good. It's been fun.